Today I want to talk to you about one of the biggest issues you probably have in your game, and that is showing intent, or not showing intent, or maybe misunderstanding overall what intent is. That's probably more to the heart of it. But before I get into exactly the details of this, let me tell you why I think you have this problem. Over the last week or so, I've been coaching a lot of people, right? Doing a lot of like diagnostics for new students that I've been taking in, and almost every single person has a version of the same problem. There's one or two versions of the intent problem. And so when the first guy came to me, I was like, oh, you know, you just don't understand what intent is. Next guy, oh, you don't understand what intent is. By guy number six, I'm like, you know what? People are not fucking teaching you guys what intent is. You're misunderstanding it. And you fundamentally probably think that showing intent is attractive. You probably think that that is not true. Let me explain now. So if intent is kind of bullshit, why is it taught and why is it taught the way it is? Well, as a beginner, especially the type of beginner that's usually coming into trying to learn dating skills or learn pickup, intent is a big thing. Because most of those type of guys are very shy, very little experience with women, and probably a little scared to even put their, you know, their feelings out there, right? Remember when you were in middle school and you know, if someone found out you had a crush on a girl, it's like, oh, Todd has a crush on you know, whoever. Right? And it's like this embarrassing, shameful thing. And you become very scared about showing interest, very scared about being caught being interested in a girl in whatever way. And so there's this natural inclination to hold back and not show intent. And so that's one of the big things that you'll see from really new guys is that they're afraid to even tell a girl they like her. And they end up in this conversation, we call it the half hour conversation in nowhere, right? Where it's just like random topic, next random topic, next random topic, guy comes back and you're like, did you show her you have a penis, right? And the guy's like, no. And you're like, well, you fucked up. You didn't show her you have a penis, right? And for that guy, that specific guy, telling him, just tell her she's cute, tell her you're interested, that is progress for him. Because for that very beginner guy, it is gonna take him from an interaction that has basically zero chance of going anywhere to an interaction where if the girl really likes him, there's some chance of it going somewhere, all right? Now, just because it works at that very beginner level though, does not mean that it's what you want to do at a higher level. So if you are terrified of telling a girl you like her, go do it a little bit just to get yourself over the fear, fine. But don't think that it's actually good game, okay? The problem is this, and this brings me to mistake number two that I see over and over and over again. Guy goes up and he starts with the most common opener of all time. Hey, you're cute, I wanted to meet you. Or hey, I really, really like you, I think you're very cute, I just was overwhelmed, I, I, I thought I'd be kicking myself if I didn't come over here, just to go even further with it, right? That opener is fucking terrible. That is the worst frame, right? The frame there is, you're this goddess, I would do anything for you, I'm this lowly guy and I hope you would deign to spend some time with me. Yeah, you showed intent. Yeah, you showed that like you're there interested. Okay, fair enough, you did that. You also completely shot yourself in the foot. You also completely conveyed that you're overwhelmed, conveyed that this isn't normal for you, conveyed that you haven't had girls in your life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you did so many negative things at the same time. And so here's what I want you to understand showing intent as, okay? It's a means to an end, okay? It's a means to an end. And what that end really is, is what I call establishing a premise. Or a lot of times I tell my students, getting to the point, okay? That's really the mentality and the phrasing that I like better nowadays, given what I've seen over the last week or so with all the, the mistakes students are having, is getting to the point or establishing a premise. Okay, think of it this way. Um, certain social interactions have a certain social context. If you show up, you met someone online on like match.com, you show up, you expect to show up for a date. You don't expect to show up for a business meeting. And if someone started acting like giving you a business-like handshake and sat you down around a board table and then started talking to you from far away, you'd be like, what the fuck is this? This is violating my expectations. I thought we had a date, right? Similarly, if you go for a job interview and someone cozies up with you on a couch and starts getting physical, you're like, what the fuck is going on? This is some fucked up job interview, okay? So there's, there's a, a context, there's an understanding of what the meaning of the interaction is. And that's important. So when you say being man to woman, it's important that you establish that man to woman context. However, showing overt interest in the girl, giving a girl massive compliments, giving away your power is only one of many ways to do it and it's probably the worst way to do it, right? So if you learn that showing intent means just flat out overtly telling a girl you like her just as this like blanket statement, you're really, really shooting yourself in the foot. But that's what's taught. And the reason that's what's taught is because it's the simplest way to get newbies from like level zero to level one. Problem is, 
if you keep those habits, you're gonna stay at level one or two for a really fucking long time. That's a big reason why guys don't get good at game, okay? So you understand, you need to understand better ways of establishing that premise, better ways of establishing that frame. And there are so many, there are so many, right? It can be as simple as you're talking to a girl and she says something that could potentially be embarrassing or be misconstrued sexually, and you just kind of like give, give her like, give her that little eyebrow raise. You just did it. With that little, you just conveyed that this isn't like a platonic thing, right? Or when you shake a girl's hand, instead of having, I call it the business-like handshake, you do the man-to-woman handshake, more like this, right? More like you're dancing with the girl. From that moment, you've already conveyed that it's a man-to-woman interaction, but you did this just through your way of being with her, not through your declaring interest, not through your giving your power away, all right? Or you guys may have noticed, speaking of intent, I had a video on the channel recently, it was like, steal my lines, how to show intent, right? Every line on there, it did show some interest. It also had a bit of a, what you call a push-pull, a little bit of a push away or a little bit of disinterest along with the interest or a little bit of suspense. Because as soon as there's no more suspense for the girl, as soon as the girl knows she has you, then sleeping with you is no longer a win. Dating you is no longer a win. Returning your call and getting you on the phone is no longer a win. So she doesn't feel any validation associated with it. She's much, much less likely to do it, okay? When the girl's unsure, when the girl thinks you're higher value, when the girl thinks you have a lot of options, then in that situation, it is a win for her. She's likely to follow up, she's likely to chase, and you're likely to get a much better scenario. So I talked about the two mistakes. First is not showing any interest at all, right? Just conversation in nowhere, and we're pretty familiar with that one, so I won't go into more detail. It's pretty clear if you never show her you're a man and you just have like a friend-to-friend -friend conversation, you end up in the friend zone at best. Probably not even that, probably because she'll just disrespect you and not even like you because you did that, and she probably won't even put you in the friend zone. But at best, you'll end up in the friend zone. Okay, on the other hand, if you show this intent in a way that gives your power away, what's gonna happen there? Either A, she'll be disinterested, um, or B, you're gonna end up in a situation where you're chasing and chasing and chasing and pushing and pushing and pushing and she's always in charge, she always has power and she decides whether to go on a date with you and she decides whether to sleep with you. Um, and then if you get in a relationship, you're in this very powerless state within the relationship because of the premise you set up from the start, right? And that's assuming you even get that far. Or occasionally, I mean very occasionally, you run into that girl that just would like you no matter what and she's happy you showed interest. However, that girl probably is not that hot and doesn't have a lot of choices, and you're probably the best she's ever gonna do, all right? So those are kind of the options, and that sounds a lot like what guys get in game, right? A lot of guys get the half hour conversation in nowhere. A lot of guys get with um, girls occasionally that are kind of low quality, but they're pushing, 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 or they, they get with, if, if the girl liked them from moment one, it works, but if the girl didn't like them from moment one, it doesn't work. And the fundamental problem is you're not understanding about showing intent. You may have heard, like I said, that showing intent makes you more attractive. It shows you're like ballsy enough to do it. Yes, at a point of total newbie, at a point where you suck so much that you're clearly terrified around girls, showing intent at least shows you weren't that terrified. So yes, it can get you from level zero to level one, but it's not getting you much further. And it's very clearly indicating to the girl that you're not at level eight, nine, or 10, right? And for the type of girls that we want, you wanna be at those levels. So you really fundamentally are shooting yourself in the foot. So when you go in, and you're just putting all your cards on the table up front, you're just giving everything away, you're fundamentally fucking yourself over. And it's actually the opposite of the ideal scenario. The ideal scenario is if you can, again, establish a, pres uh, sorry, a premise or you know, get to the point without showing intent. And in order to explain that, let me give you two kind of situations that are so good that even guys with no game get laid in them. Situation number one is your, your wingman or your roommate goes out, meets two girls, brings them back, and you're just chilling at the house doing your own thing, completely non-needy, completely chill. He goes out with his girl and you're left one-on-one -on -one awkwardly with your girl and she's feeling kind of devalidated. She you know, it was maybe looking for a guy. Oftentimes, because you and she are there, there's that premise that you're supposed to meet each other. She starts doing the work, she starts making the moves. It's the easiest thing in the world. I've seen guys with no game whatsoever get laid in this situation. Scenario number two, which is really funny, is let's say that um, you're out as like a you know, pickup artist guy and you devalue a girl a bit, you like devalidate her, she feels a little hurt, and she decides to go try and make you jealous by talking to some other dude. And she opens the other guy. Now this other guy is suddenly being thrust into a man to woman conversation without having had to try, without having had to show any interest. And a lot of times even just a, a vaguely remotely cool guy will end up pulling in that situation because the scenario has been set up so well for him. It's been basically like, like food just laid on the table in front of him, okay? 
And that's what you'd like. That's what you'd like is you want it to be man to woman. You want to establish the frame that there is an interview, a get to know you, there is a sale being made, whatever frame you want to kind of place it there, right? There is this evaluative process that you kind of like her maybe, she kind of likes you maybe. You want to establish that without just saying overtly, huh, I like you no matter what. And again, there are so many ways to do it. So in practice, what should this look like? It should look like instead of overt interest, maybe a little bit of a push-pull. Instead of going in and conveying that you want to like go meet and have sex with her, go imply that you just are a fun sexual person in general and start bringing that into the conversation so it's just a natural thing that that would be the case. Or maybe, instead of overtly saying, haha, I like you, you convey it through a look, a gesture, the way you touch her, those sorts of things, okay? All of these things are there. Another one is just taking on a cocky frame, even pl pl playfully or pretending some kind of frame of like, if you were my girlfriend, dude, you'd be out on the street right now, right? You just establish the premise, right? You establish this frame of she might be your girlfriend, it's within that realm of possibility or something being considered, but you did it without showing that intent, without putting, giving all, putting like your balls on the table, really, without giving all your power away. So that's what you really wanna do. So understand that the showing of intent is not actually a good thing. It's a, it's a crutch. It's a crutch or a shortcut used to get to the point or establish a premise. But there are so many better ways to establish a premise, so many better ways to get to the point that beyond that, that very beginner level where you're just scared to even like, you know, scared to even admit you like girls or scared to even let her know that you like her at all. Once you're beyond that level, you really wanna find a different way to establish a premise, a different way to get to the point. And once you do that, everything in your set, everything in your interaction is going to change because the frame that you're in dictates everything that occurs within it, all right? So that's it. Stop thinking that you need to show intent. Just start thinking you need to get to the point, you need to establish a premise, and then from there, just be a cool fucking, um, cool, fun guy and um, be a little selective. Actually make her work for you. Establish a friend that's a lot more useful to you.